everyone in the shop sang with me pepperoni pizza. I have been starstruck. In real life, I may be a little more like Fiero. Oh, I wish bell bottoms would come back. My full name is Stephen Lawrence Schwartz. So the initials are SLS. And that is a tradition in my family that the first male child has SLS initials. It goes back to my grandfather and then my father, me, my son Scott uh, has SLS initials. And the son that he and his wife are about to have in a few months, I am promised will also have SLS initials. I started to learn uh, how to meditate. I'm still very bad at it, but um, I have some guided meditations that I listen to. And I've also been trying to improve my French. Definitely starter. Um, I really like starters and often when I go out to eat, I'll make a meal of ordering two or three starters and won't order a main at all. The first thing I do when I get up in the morning is take my dog out and we walk around and I give him a little bit to eat. Once he's taken care of, I can start my day, right Wrigley? <laughs> I would say it is uh, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow by Carol King. I was actually once in an ice cream shop and that came on the radio and I started to sing along with it. And then the young woman who was serving the ice cream sang with me and then everyone in the shop sang with me. I would say probably what is this feeling, which is popularly known as loathing, because that was my fifth try at that particular song for that spot. The newest app that I would not want to try to live without is called 10% Happier, and it's a guided meditation app. Well, I love a lot of different musical instruments, but off the top of my head, maybe 12 string guitar is my favorite. I have been starstruck a few times, but one that comes to mind is when I met the tennis player, Andre Agassi, uh, when I was visiting his academy in Las Vegas. Definitely 7.30, much, much better not to get out too late and to be able to stay alert for the whole show. And you still have plenty of time to get dinner either before or after if you like. Top of my countries I want to visit right now is Antarctica, if you count that as a country. I've also never been to Argentina and I've always wanted to visit there. Definitely fly like Alphaba. Wouldn't everybody really? I love birds of paradise. Uh, they're so showy. And when you're giving somebody a present of flowers, I think if you have a bird of paradise in it, or even just one bird of paradise, it, it makes a really good flower gift. If there were one instrument for me to play for the rest of my life, I'd probably pick, and then I would definitely choose piano. But if I have to pick one to listen to, then I would choose guitar. When I go to parties, sometimes there's a guest book to sign. And my go-to trick is to write a little song in the guest book and, and sign it that way. And I, I, I find that's, that really works very well.
My phone friend is someone named Dean Pitchford. He's a very good friend of mine. He's a pretty well-known lyricist. He wrote the lyrics for Fame and all the songs for Footloose. And he is the smartest and best informed person I know. Well, probably father knows best, but I think most people listening to this are way too young to know what father knows best is. So to use a more current sitcom, um, I probably say Modern Family. I would say a line from Colors of the Wind, you learn things you never knew you never knew. I think that says, uh, expresses a very complex and kind of profound thought in very simple language. I think it's obsessively having to plug in my devices, even if they're 80% full, I'm still constantly plugging in all of mine and everyone else's devices. Definitely tennis. I'm a, I'm a big tennis fan and um, a big tennis player. I'm not so good anymore and certainly not Olympic quality, but yeah, that, that's definitely my sport. The opening night of Godspell in New York uh, when I was 23 years old and the reviews came in and it was pretty clear it was going to be successful and I thought no matter what else ever happens to me in my life this can never be taken away from me. I would probably be Chunky Monkey but I'd rather be mint chip, I think. Well, I'm pretty obsessive about recycling, but on recycling day, I, I have to go through everything and kind of resort what everybody's done and make sure the right cardboard is flattened and with the paper and the plastics are where they should be. Resorting the recycling is probably my least favorite chore, even though I'm glad to have to do it. Trust your instincts. Well, I've shown earlier, I've shown the famous Wrigley, uh, my dog, who is um, part Shih Tzu and part Bijan, and as people saw, very adorable. <coughs> oh, I wish Bell Bottoms would come back. I really liked Bell Bottoms, and I thought they were going to make a comeback, but that doesn't seem to have happened. I just purchased a drone camera. I had a friend who had one and took the most amazing little movies, so I'm looking forward to trying mine out. I have a music room upstairs in my house. You're seeing my office here in the background, but I have a really nice quiet room with a piano and a keyboard, so that's definitely my my favorite place to write. Agatha Christie, I think, if she wouldn't get too annoyed at me about asking her how she came up with various plots and stories. I would say right now in our current climate, I can think of Two, one is Beautiful City from Godspell, and the other is In the Beginning, the final song from Children of Eden, which both ex express hope for the future and um, rebuilding and being given a second chance, which is obviously something we here in this world could use right now. Uh, I was a newsboy when I was a kid. Uh, I don't know if they still have newsboys, but I lived in a little neighborhood and I would put the newspapers in my bike and ride around and leave them on people's doorsteps. Well, I used to be better at tennis, but I'm still okay at tennis and I'm pretty good at bridge too.
I would be my dog because then I know I would be constantly spoiled. <laughs> Earl Grey tea with a little milk, with the, the English way. There are many things which annoy me, but these days I'm very annoyed by people who refuse to believe facts and believe science. Very luckily, I wanted to be exactly what I turned out to be. I wanted to write uh, songs for musical theater. It grew out of a difficult relationship that I was in at the time, and I was able to take a lot of the emotion I was feeling and put it into the story of that song. I used to fail deportment all the time. Deportment is like behavior, I guess, um, because I, I would talk too much in class and crack jokes and be um, a little disruptive. Blue, though I'm wearing my Wicked colors today. I'm wearing the black and green. So for Wicked, on Wicked Day, these are my favorite colors, but every other day it's blue. Well, I live in the States in New England and New England in the fall, when all the leaves are turning different colors on a, on a bright day when the sky is very blue, that's a pretty amazing view, but maybe also the South Island of New Zealand. That's pretty spectacular. I have to think about this because I had a lot of favorite books, but I'm going to say The Once and Future King by T.H. White, which is the King Arthur story. Pepperoni pizza, for sure. I think I would go a hundred years into the future I'd like to see if mankind is still around and if we solved some of the problems we have right now. Lots of things make me smile, but since this seems to be a theme, um, pretty much any time I look over at my dog, he's doing something that makes me smile. In real life, I may be a little more like Fiero, but if I could be, I would be, I would be Alpha Boat with magic, with the magic powers. I ate several strange things when I was in China, but maybe the fried scorpion was the strangest. Well, we spoke about tennis a little earlier and I've been to three of the four major tournaments. I've never been to the French Open. So the French Open is definitely on my bucket list. mellifluous. I think that's a, a beautiful and very onomatopoetic word. It feels good in your mouth to say that something was mellifluous. My eighth grade teacher, I hope people listening in the UK know what eighth grade is, um, it's right before you go to high school, uh, named Miss um, Groff. She was an English teacher and she made us keep a journal where we had to write something every single night. I thought that was that was a really good thing to start doing. Well, I don't think there is a superhero with this superpower, but this is the superpower that I would like to have. I'd like to be able to go into the mind of other people or animals and just for a little while and see the world through their eyes. I think that would be a really good superpower. <laughs>